rising more than ever before. The salary people, the temp job workers are giving, the unemployed, housewives are giving, full-time NS men, retirees, students 17 years above, 16 years above. An equal amount for equal sacrifice. You give your best. You give until your heart is broken. You give until tears stream down your eyes. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> for me, I think I will give when I have enough for myself. Because that's like practicality. Yeah, I, mean, like, I, mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not that we don't want to give, but we also should look at like our own selves first. So, I mean, if someone wants to say some, something like that, give until your heart breaks and give until tears roll down the face. I mean, if the person can afford to, then why not? You know, because it, it's like for a good cause at the end. But, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I don't think you should need to go to that extent, but if you do... Uh, it's, not, it's still not measured by the dollar value. It is still measured by, really, at the end of the day, uh, what that money means to you as an individual based on your financial circumstances. If money is the only tool that makes tears roll down your eyes, then yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's what I think. I think there are more ways of giving back to the community and giving back to yeah, the church. So it's, it's definitely more than money? Yeah. I think I wouldn't really agree to how uh, City Harvest actually like uh, pulls in the funds and all that, but each have their own manner. But I think they could be less aggressive. They should not campaign like if the more you donate, the, the, the better life you have after you die, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, I think it should come from the heart. Well, uh, I don't agree with him, but I mean, yeah. Uh, if people want to do it, yeah, but if for me, you ask me, I don't think I would. In the next clip, would you sell your home to support your church? 